Hello everybody and welcome back to another game of Popper. We are playing some Ratlock. And we got our hand. No black mana, but we have double counterspell and Augur of Bolas. Uh, I think this is a keep. We can play the control game for a little while, though being on the draw certainly doesn't help these counterspells. Opponent keeps. Goes for Bloodfell Caves. Ooh, that's the perfect turn one draw. Preordain. And there's the bog. I'm going to put the rats on the bottom. Bog on the top. Uh, if this is reanimator, could uh, do a number on them. Not likely, though. I haven't seen these reanimator decks really be super popular in a bit. Oh, <laughs> saying that, could it be? <laughs> no way. Oh no, they're going to get it right away. Oh, no, we're just just too late. <laughs> oh, and we're dead just like that. Uh <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I think, uh, you know, turn one to rest. You know what? We, we might actually have a really hard time beating this just because of all of our tap lands. As sad as that is to say, look at that perfect turn two play. <laughs> no idea <laughs> what was about to hit me there. Uh, I think we'll just cut the disfigures. Um, let's cut. Let's cut. I guess Augur can be okay. Counterspell is probably going to be fine. We're going to be on the play. Ah, oh, man. Yep. <laughs> of all the things that we can get just run over by. Yeah, that's that's as good as it gets, though, for them, for their draws. We could really not interact with them. There's very few decks that could survive that. So let's cut the Reaping the Graves. Um, Muldrifter seems great because we can evoke it. And then if they ever resolve an Exhum, we can at least have the Muldrifter in play and and, um, and draw some cards and get a 2-2 blocker. Uh, let's get rid of a Chittering Rats. Um, we want all of our removal... Let's cut two Chittering Rats, the Seagate Oracle, and uh, let's run it like that. All right. Man, with the Dark Ritual, too, and everything. Holy moly. Okay. Well, <laughs> do I keep this... Oh. <laughs> do I keep this hand on the Strength of Nile Spellbomb? I think I will. Uh, we're going to be on the play, so I'm going to run out Mortuary Mire. And we're going to hope to get some blue mana at some point. Is it going to be... Ah, okay. So let's go for Nile Spellbomb. And let's pass the turn. So this will really hamper our opponent for now. Mystical Teachings, not exactly the draw we're hoping for. Yeah, I'll take my beats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Faithless looting. I will definitely pop this off just to get the card draw. And, you know, deny the flashback. Stinky, you like trickery. We get the aqueduct. Okay, great. Um, let's go spell bomb. <laughs> They're probably like, hey, <laughs> another spell bomb. That's cheats. Grab the swamp. Pass the turn. Not super worried about the neonate. It is uh, edict fodder, I guess, for them. I kept all the ghostly flicker. I, I didn't mention that, but I kept all the ghostly flickers in because of Bajukabog uh, and being able to um, kind of really take advantage of that. It's super important. What was my draw for the turn? I don't even remember. Discarding Anarchist. Okay. 
That's just going to let them... Oh, that's a tough one. What do I do here? I think I will... I will deal with it. Just because it gets them back their, um, their anarchist, which gives them back their uh, exhume. And that can, be, uh, that can be very problematic for us. Okay, swamp and pass. Backwater. Uh, so ideally, I'd get uh, some removal off the top that I can cast uh, for next turn. <laughs> uh, not sure what their plan is going to be, but I think I need to preordain, even if it's very awkward with my mana. Might have to go with, if I get cast down, for example, I'll just play the swamp. If I don't have any other, oh, there's the cast down and the island. Man, that's great. Um, so yeah, let's go top and top, and then we will play the swamp and pass. Cool. Great. And, uh, now we're looking really cozy. The only thing that could get better would be um, getting um, hmm. What do we get here? Let's get counter spell. Get an edict. Let's gain some life. And let's pass. Okay. Did you not just see me get counterspell? Hmm. Maybe I should have used the cast down, but I think I know. I think getting the counterspell out of the way is is much nicer. Ah, this is perfect. Here we go. So I'm gonna hold control. Yeah, it's over. Okay, good. Whoo, that's a that's a scary deck. You never know what's gonna happen. Um, hmm. anything else I want really? Hydroblast not gonna help me all that much. I don't think I can counter Faithless Looting. Um, I don't think that's what we want though. We definitely want the duress, the spell bombs, and we don't want to overboard either. We want to keep in a lot of our removal and stuff and get some bajuka bogs and spell bombs and just disrupt their graveyard as much as possible. Though, as you saw, that can be quite difficult, especially when they're on the play. Ooh, man, I'm glad that hand worked out with no black, with uh, no blue mana <laughs> and only Nile spell bombs. I think uh, using our Nile spell bombs aggressively like that was definitely the way to go. That's a really good hand gonna keep that do I lead with duress or spell bomb I guess duress gets a little bit better as the game goes on and spell bomb gives us a bit more security putrid imp you got it okay let's spell bomb Pass the turn. Looting. Yep. Getting stinky and putrid. Getting in for one. <sighs> I really would like to develop my mana as efficiently as possible, so I'm probably going to go for the Backwater. Or I guess I could also go for the Aqueduct, if I duress now. Let's duress the opponent, see what's up. Then we can decide what to do. I've only got two cards left in hand. 
I didn't notice they did some heavy, heavy mulliganing, and yeah, they just scoop it up. Oh, man. Woo! After that first game, wow. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.